What's going on everyone? Steven here. Today I'm starting episode one of my Elex Let's Hack series. Uh, we're going to show you how to find Elexit in this video, which is the currency in the game that you use to buy all kinds of stuffs. Um, so we're going to make it to where when you're in this menu, when you bring this up, uh, it gives you 999,999,999. <laughs> that sounds like fun. All right, so the first thing that we can do is just do a scan for 137, the number of Alexa that you happen to have at the moment. First scan. Okay, I'm at a place where I can just pick up some really quickly here. Take that. All right, 138 now. Okay, we've got these two values. One is the graphical, one is the actual value. You can verify this by going and picking up some Alexa without having that menu up. All right, you see the one that changed here, this bottom one? That's our actual value. We're gonna roll with that. But let me show you something cool here. If we go into the menu, see this is 139. All right, because this is our actual value, let's try to change it and see what happens. 500. All right, it changed instantly in the game, which means there's an instruction running that's watching this address. And whatever value it sees there, it's going to write it here. Okay. So what we can do is right click on this and say, find out what accesses this address. Attach the debugger. And this is the instruction running. We're interested in this. Okay. We can go ahead and stop it. Click here, go show disassembler. All right. Um, now, normally you would just go tools, uh, auto assemble, and do your AOB injection. However, we have a return in the middle of this. So when you do a code injection and you jump to somewhere to our injected code, if we have a ret there instead of here, where it returns is it could crash the game you have a, a high likelihood of it crashing the game. So we have to get just a little more creative. Before we do that, let's check and see if there are any other addresses that this instruction accesses so that we know if we're dealing with an instruction that, you know, maybe it's pulling up values for a ton of different things. So let's right click and say, find out what addresses this instruction accesses. And that popped this up. So let's go back in here. Let's change through here. All right, we see some different things popping up. All right, let's exit out of this. Okay. Um, so yes, it is a shared instruction. All right. So what can we try to do about that? Well, let's do a break and trace. And let's do it while we have this menu up. All right, and right now it's just reading our elixir. So when we do the break and trace, hopefully it'll just trigger based on this number here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop that. And I'm going to right click and say break and trace instructions. Check these two, say okay. And right click here, expand all. And this is where we are. We're here. Let's go back up to see where this call happens, all right? So we see that the value that's in RCX plus 44 is um, our Alexit, and it's being moved into EAX, okay? So if we go back up a level to where this call happened, we can see here that there's a move, RSI into RCX. So then this subroutine accesses the value that's being pointed at by RCX plus an offset of 44. So here at this point, before the call, we can move something into RCX plus 44. It's got to be after this instruction because we want whatever is an RSI, which is a memory address, to be moved into RCX. We want that to happen so that RCX has the value we're interested in for this call that happens, right? So now what we can do is, I'm gonna close this real quick, close that, uh, close this, and now I'm going to exit out of this menu 
and right click here and go break and trace instructions and let's just see if it breaks right now okay it's not breaking let's pick up some Alexit still not breaking let's bring up the menu here and there it is it broke so this is good for us this means that this is an instruction that we can use uh, back at this point expand all yep let's call all right so we can create an injection right here at this point and put a value that we're interested in into RCX plus 44 so let's go tools auto assemble template we'll do full injection uh, or you could do a AOB injection if you want these offsets and stuff might change whenever they do game updates so maybe you want to do an AOB injection template AOB injection we'll call this Alexit All right, and now what we can do is at this point at code right here, we can say move into RCX plus 44. All right, this means integer. We could say 999999. And then go, uh, actually, let's say we want the memory address as well that the Alexit is in. So we could do global alloc. And let's do. Alexit base four. All right, so here we'll go Alexit base uh, DD zero to initialize that. And then at this point, we could even say move into Alexit base uh, RCX. So that's going to move that whatever addresses in RCX to here and then we can reference that. So let's go file assigned to current cheat table. All right, go here. Let's add a memory address. Alexit base plus offset 44. Call this Alexit. Okay. Nest it with the under the script here. Let's call this 999999999 Alexit. All right, so now when we enable the script, we should see the memory address pop up here with the value populate. And also, we're going to see this jump up. All right, so here we go. Bam, there it is. All right, so now what we could do is untick that. We could change this to whatever we want right now. And so that's a way that you could manually change the value. All right. And then anytime you just wanted to max out your Alexit, you just go here. So let's say we had one Alexit, right? Let's say zero. Exit, come back in the menu, pretend you're starting off the game. You've got zero. All right. Let's go ahead and enable this. Boom. Now let's disable it. Escape, come back in. And there we go. So that's a quick way to max out your cacheesh in the game. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to have like five, six, seven of these. Infinite health, infinite stamina, jetpack, one-hit kill enemies, um, 99 items when gathered, I think. Some other stuff. So uh, finally, I'm going to have a download link to a cheat table with a bunch of cheats. Here? Uh, hey, what are you doing here? Watch this. Ah, dang it, I don't have my cheats set up. <laughs> I was going to wreck them. Uh, so anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm going to be banging out these other ones. So all these should basically be up within the same day or so by launch. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care.